Felipe, how should we ask questions to people? Well, you know, we're trying to create an environment rather than the traditional salesperson who just goes right into the presentation. Uh, first of all, we got to ask the right questions and, and, uh, and be very conversational, not inquisitive. And, and, and you got to ask the right questions that are going to like get them, get the prospect interested. And what you're what you're doing so uh the framework yeah, give, us, give us an example mr bosans i saw your uh i saw your sign uh, house for sale uh, uh i'm really interested in it can you tell me about it thank you claude i appreciate that actually that house went under contract but let me ask you this oh man oh i know it's it's a story but... of my life i'm such a loser i always call a day late and a dollar <laughs> short <laughs> But, uh, you're oh, you're not a loser, Claude. You're not a loser. You know there was a time and where where I was you know struggling financially and uh, but but you you strike me as a good man, good hardworking man. If I could find you a property where you can move in the next thirty days, uh, with as little as let's say ten thousand dollars cash, you wouldn't be interested in in, in in talking about it today, or would you? Oh, from um yeah, well maybe ten thousand dollars. Wow, time out. Did everybody see what he did? I put what it, I put myself down. I beat the shit out of myself. Pardon my language. What did he do to fix that right away? Why was that so important? What Felipe just did. Let me um, let me unmute you there, uh, Sean Ani. Well, Go ahead. Well he, did, well, he. I mean, he had a little bit of positive reinfor reinforcement. He said, "You're not a loser." You know, one. He started with that, and then. Two, why is that so important? No, why is that why is that essential to fix that right away? To make somebody feel good. Ooh, say it again. Make somebody feel good. What happens when we make another human being feel good? What happens? Likeability and trust. trust. Emotion. Emotion. And, 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 and remember, guys, even if it sounds cliche, people will forget what you say. Uh, to them, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And, oh, oh, I love that. Say that again. That was too <laughs> profound. Somebody type that in the chat room mm -hmm. for me, would you? I mean, I think it was like, I don't know who was it. I think it was like uh, Six Sigler or some, somewhere like that. But the, the, the beauty of, 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 of when we use guts is that we, we have a framework uh, and it, it's, it's like, it goes, it, it go, it's like a loop. Think about it this way. You know, we stroke, we nurture them, we paint a picture, uh, through whatever, you know, suggestions or, Ooh, or, 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 or we tell a story and then we always, but, and, and remember always to end with a question. It, it's, it's so important to end with a question and, 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 and you just use the right question. Like for example, to qualify for money, like right up, right away in the first three minutes. It's so important. How would we ask, can we, when we ask a question though, it should always be prefaced okay, with a, a stroke, a nurture, a compliment, maybe a little quickie story, something like, you know, same thing happened to my friend, don't feel bad, uh, same problem with me, I was a day late, a dollar short, I made problems and everything like that, setbacks, you know, so don't be so hard on yourself, we, we, we're all fallible human beings and everything, I know some of the most successful people started out being broke, and then they just hung in there like, I know, and I know you have the character to do that too, Mr. Bosans. You just strike me as that kind of guy. Why do I feel that way about you, sir? Well, that's how, that's how my mama raised me. You, you had a great mom. I hope she's still around. Yes, she is. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you thank God for her every day and say, do you send her a card on my birthday and Mother's Day and everything? I do. I knew that about you. You're a good guy. And that's why you want to get a house for your family. You're that kind of person, aren't you? Yeah, you know, I've been been working too hard all my life, and I just I'm just tired of wasting money and just paying rent. You know, oh, you couldn't have wasted how much? You couldn't have wasted that much money. Nothing wrong with renting, right? You, what have you what have you, what have you been renting for one or two years? Three, four hundred a month? Oh yeah, I wish. Actually, here where where I live and the place where I live, it's uh we live in a two bedroom and it's twenty five hundred dollars a month. So it's. <laughs> I feel, I, I, feel I, love what, I love what he just what he's doing is is the essence of guts it's making them do all the work
Throwing gasoline on the fire. We all know there's no – when I said you've only been uh, – based on his age, I know he's been renting for more than one year. And nobody in Miami, Florida is paying three, four $400 a month for rent unless they're living in a cardboard box behind the Walmart. <laughs> okay. So what he so, – but he started doing all the work. Do you realize we do – we work too hard in sales? How many people here – Remember where we do these presentations, we drive our car for hours, uh, we give this, how many of you have given million dollar presentations that you prepared the night before and, and the prospect said maybe 10 words in that conversation? I'm guilty of that. Yep. Okay, that's not gut selling, that's dumb selling, that's old 1950s selling. Okay, what are you holding up there, Felipe? Looks like a good book, the good book. You're, you're, go ahead. It's a 75-25 rule, guys. It's, it's, it's so important. It's so important. Like, I, I, I have to fight with that myself. When I get too excited when, when, when I believe in what I sell, and, and, and I just, like, I become the, uh, uh, what it's called, the, the motivated buyer. But if you actually kind of, like, scale back and you turn into more like a, uh, somebody, like, like the doctor in the room, people just, like, it, it really works. It's, it just, you have no idea. Oh yeah. And if you can say the right things with redirection, Oh, you're only playing three, 400 for a year or two. Oh, you've been, Oh, and then he responds, no, I've been renting for 10 years and my rent's 1500 a month. Then you get out your little calculator. You say, Oh, Mr. Bassans, you want me to tell you the truth or, or, or keep making you feel good. And he'll say, tell me the truth. And you'll say, my calculator says you've given $150,000 over 10 years. You've had no appreciation. You've had no tax benefits. And your wife uh, and two kids and the dog and the three chihuahuas and the gerbils are in the one-bedroom apartment. My gosh, how, where, you have made your landlord so rich. You must be a great guy. Why are you doing that? You seem like a smart guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, suppose, let me ask you this, and it's okay to say no to me. Um, do you mind if, uh, you, you don't want to get in, uh, if I could find a way to get you into an apartment in the next 30 days, that's not something you're interested in moving that quick before all the Thanksgiving and Kwanzaa and Christmas and everything. You're not interested in moving that fast, are you? That all sounds amazing, Club, but uh, do you offer any kind of guarantee that you'll be able to do that? Well, that's a good point. Let's talk about that. I'm glad. Thank you for bringing that up. Do you mind, before we talk about a guarantee, can we talk about money? 